Hi everyone! Hello. Welcome to this episode of Catching Up with Yoseka Stationery. So, so casual! casual. <laughs> um, hope everyone had a really nice week. We certainly had a really busy week here at Yoseka. Eventful, eventful. Eventful. Every day was so full and we warned you that we'd be back this week with uh, dark circles under our eyes and I can tell you now that we are feeling the uh, exhaustion from last week just a little bit. <laughs> it was a good week though. Very, yeah. very many things happened. <laughs> mm -hmm. I honestly, I, I like it. It like keeps me going, you know? We're like always on. Yeah? Right? That's yeah. Good. That's the grind good. never stops, right? You're, you're youthful and energetic. I will be honest and say that most nights this past week, Neil and I crashed on our couch at 8 o'clock every night and just passed out until like 11 o'clock when we woke back up and we were like so disoriented. Like, oh, oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Time for bed. <laughs> Even though we've been napping for three hours now. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if that was because of the busy week or just because of like, I don't know. Well, sleep yeah. is always important. Sleep so. is good. We got some sleep. Um, okay, so the reason why this past week has been so busy is because it has been sort of the culmination of a, a lot of uh, things that have been leading up to the release of, for example, the Koweko Iridescent Pearl. These finally came, arrived last, or this past week, and um, we shipped out a lot of pre-orders for it. Um, a lot of people got this and they are sold out again, but we are expecting another small shipment to arrive. So you can sign up for restock notifications. They're so pretty. Mm -hmm. um, wait, did you get one? No, I no. thought about it really, really hard. And then I like, they sold out the first time and I was like, ah, okay, maybe next yeah. time. And then now it's like, they're gone again. And I'm like, ah, okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. I was doing the unboxing video for the iridescent pearls and as I was doing the unboxing video I was I decided to get one because <laughs> it was just we paired it with uh, one of these Yurimeku inks actually um, so this is another thing that released this week after a lot of people have been waiting weeks for it to come the sailor Yurimeku inks that are inspired by the sky and like very heavily shading inks they came out and I thought that this the pearlescent would be really well paired with the Kyoko and so I inked it up and then the minute I saw that writing paired together on the Tomoe River paper, I was like, okay, I'm gonna take this pen home with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is a really good combo. And we'll be getting more of these inks too for anybody who didn't get them. We got like a super small shipment. Mm -hmm. um, so don't feel sad if you weren't able to get yours because we there got- There will be more. Yeah, there will be more. So that came and then what else happened this week? Well, even more things arrived. We had Hobonichi right. that arrived. The April starts are finally here, which, so if you weren't able to get Hobonichi before, you can get it now. The Animal Crossing is so cute. I know a lot of people were really happy to get these again. Yeah, yeah. we love Hobonichi, and the spring starts are just as good as the January starts. They're Japanese only though, for anybody who's curious. Mm -hmm. um, and then further, Further exciting things that happened this week, even more excitement. Midoriath's 70th anniversary. I just said Midoriath. Midoriath. Um, Midoriath. <laughs> Midori 70th anniversary items arrived as well. So that includes this pack of seven notebooks from MD. These are like the MD lights, um, but they come in these rainbow, this rainbow of seven different colors, and inside is like a light grid of different colors, which is so cute. I think. I think this is like so cute. I love, yeah, it's I love so cute. The, the small change, like when you love a product, a small change in it like just makes you... Just brightens yeah, it up. Yeah, it brightens yeah. it up and you're like, so what's It's that? new again. Yeah. <laughs> um, so things like this, and then also they have their fountain pen and ink bottle sets. They released as well for the 70th anniversary. Midori started in 1950, and so I guess the 70th anniversary is really 2020, but um, you know, we're just celebrating it, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know exactly. But, um, and as part of the 
celebration, Midori actually sent us these really cute sort of um, promotional um, celebrational items for their 70th anniversary. And these are just free for us to give away in orders. Um, but we didn't get too many, so we thought we would make it fun and we gave a little homework assignment out <laughs> to everyone. Um, we said that for anybody who orders any of these 70th anniversary products, um, please also leave us a note in your order comments and tell us what your favorite MD Midori product is and you will get one of these free sticker packs in your order. So we've been sending these out in your orders um, all this past week mm -hmm. and we thought it would be cool to kind of open this and see what would be inside. I kind of know, yeah, but I, I don't know. I haven't Ashley seen them. doesn't know, so I thought we would, and I haven't really done it myself, I've just seen online. So here, you want to do it? Yes, please. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So these are products that are based, each little sticker is 3D and it's based on um, a real Midori product that has been released, like one of their iconic products that's been released in their past 70 years. And they are whoa. really cute. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, 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 Yeah. Whoa. Wait, there's like a little, I, I don't know if you, you'll be able to see this, but there's like a little tab on this to pull it out. These are all stickers? So what are those? Those are the D-clips, yeah. which um, a lot of people know and love from Midori. And so I think, yeah. Oh my god! Oh no! Oh, and there's little <laughs> clips inside. Wait, that's so cute. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. So they're little animal-shaped penguin clips, oh these ones. Oh my goodness. I mean, they're not real clips, They're not real, but, but they actually <laughs> look very real. If you just pull them out, they have, I guess yeah, it's like a, like foil printed on of the yeah. outline of the mm -hmm. paper clip. So it looks like they're really in there. Yeah, I love miniatures. these from Midori. I always thought about getting the, there's like cat, dog. Yeah. There's pig, duck, I think. Also, There's like every animal. horse. Yeah. yeah, so many animals. So cute. Those are so cute. They're just missing a snow fairy bird. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> Dory, I know you make all the snow Come fairy on, birds Dory. already, but if you could make <laughs> one more, that's my request. <laughs> um, and then they oh. have this one, which is based on a little. Um, correction tape that they release and it's a really cute correction tape we don't have it but it's like this 3d like this round correction tape that you apply and then this sticker i think is just like a little sticker yeah yeah really cute and it's then, like a mango what is this this, this man this, this is little Oji -san. wait you know how we have the old grandpa stickers oh, with like the him doing like different sports sense. and stuff yeah. this is him oh he goes God. way back with midori and what is he doing here He's blowing a dandelion. Oh, blowing a dandelion. Oh my god. That's so cute for and Midori's 70th anniversary. Little dogs. Little dogs is part oh of his. Oh my gosh, wait. That's so cute. Oh. Yeah. That's adorable. <laughs> So I feel like we're probably the only people who are actually like taking these stickers off of the film because they're so precious yeah. that like people are probably like collecting them. Um, and then this is the Midori Eraser Dust Sweeper, sweeper, of course. Oh wow, this is really cool. This is like, it's like 3D. Oh, it doesn't move, but it's okay. It's it's very, it it's quite it pops a feat, out a, a feat lot of engineering. Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> the detail on these, very cool. Yeah, very nice. And then, last but not least, is the Midori 10-Year Diary. Does this pull out? I'm gonna... So. Oh my yeah. gosh! Whoa! They even have the pages in yeah. there! That's so much detail. I want to say that you can That's... open it. Yeah, you can open it and flip the pages. Oh my <laughs> gosh! <so> cute. <laughs> There's a little bookmark tassel. It's wow. so detailed. That's it's so, so detailed. Intricate. Oh. oh my goodness. Like they even have printed on it each of the places for your five year yeah. entries or your 10 year entries. Mm -hmm. So it looks oh exactly goodness. like it. It looks exactly like it. Especially wow. the, the Navy. Well done. Diary. Well done, Midori. Well done, Midori. So cute. Uh, so we still have some of these left, so if anybody wants these, just make sure you leave us a note about your favorite MD product with your order of one of these 70th anniversary products, and we will be happy to include these in your order. We still have these right now. Okay, he's nodding yes. Okay, good. 
That would be sad. That would be really sad. <laughs> and we showed all this and we're like, oh, we actually don't have any more. <laughs> um, okay, so this is kind of all the stuff that came in this past week and that we have already been sending out in your orders. So it's been a very full week. We haven't added too much new new stationery this week, but we did add um, I did add um, the Shachihata Make Your Color stamp pad and ink, which is like a little um, blank stamp pad and it comes with these, or separately, there are these ink refills and spatulas mm -hmm. that you can, you know, mm -hmm. boop, 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 make your own gradients, make your own designs, and I did an unboxing video. So yeah, really so fun. if anyone's curious about how those work, definitely check out our unboxing video for those. Other than that, it's been a little bit of a slow week. We've just been working on sending all of these orders out, and I think that we have gotten all of these orders out already, so if you haven't gotten yours, they should be on the way to you by now, and you should be getting them any day now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next up, we are actually very, very excited to introduce you all to May. Yeah. Come on up, May. <laughs> Hi, Hi, May. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to the, the show. <laughs> Everyone say hi to May. Um, so we've been trying to get May to like be in one of our catching up videos for weeks now, and yeah, we finally, finally found some time today. <laughs> yeah. So we're really excited to have you and introduce you here to everyone. May started with us part time a few weeks back, and we made the introduction post on Instagram. Um, and she has she works both like here uh, in Ridgewood in our storage, and then you're also in the store a couple days of the week too, right? How have you been finding it in store? Um, I it's been challenging. Yeah. That time, you know, <laughs> especially, but I love being there. But um, especially with um, I'm still learning a lot about the fountain pens, and yeah. I've actually gotten a lot of customers like ask me questions. Mm. Slowly but surely. Well, I'm learning, learning more and more. May came to me really proudly the other day and she was like, I helped somebody find a Lamy Safari. And I was so happy about that. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, like, I know fountain pens may not be like your most experienced area, but I know you do love stationery, mm -hmm. right? Like, what do you typically. Um, I guess my favorite thing to talk about would be like pens. Mm. I'm constantly <laughs> sketching in the store too. So, you are! Um, yes. Yes. So Best artist. Yeah. Adorning all of our tester notebooks. Yes. <laughs> but also actually the other day I helped a customer who was buying a traveler's notebook. Oh. And it was like their first time yeah. with a traveler's notebook. Yeah. So I had the best time like explaining the system Yay. and like I love organizing. Yeah. So, That's so yeah. true. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I'm so happy to hear that. Mm -hmm. May is so wonderful, <laughs> so be sure to say hi to May next time you're in the store. And then real quick, I thought we'd do like an icebreaker with May since um, everyone is just getting to know her. Um, I asked her to prepare two truths and a lie for us. <laughs> so she's gonna give us three facts about herself. Two of them are true and one of them is a lie and Ashley and, we'll and I guess. are going to guess. Yeah, we'll try our best. <laughs> well, they're really basic. Okay, yeah, well okay. I'm ready. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay I'm, so, gonna, I'm gonna watch you as you tell us okay. these. Oh, that's good. Okay. <laughs> First one. Um, in the past, I've kept two betta fish and a snake as pets. <gasps> Ooh. And number two, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan and my Hogwarts house is Slytherin. Ooh. Number three, um, my go-to coffee order is an iced Americano. Oh, <laughs> those are hard. Those are very well, hard. Well, I would say that I, I, think, I, I think I know. <laughs> Wait, I, I think I also know. Wait, no, I don't know that I know. I don't, okay, my thought process is beta fish and snake, even though snake is like, mm -hmm, that's scary. Mm -hmm. I'm like, this is, this is, I have friends with snakes. Mm -hmm. and that, that's, mm -hmm. a, that's very, very doable, right? And then you have like the Narcissa Malfoy hair, so that's like a, it's a Slither and Harry Potter. Wow, thing. You, you really, you're really giving this like <laughs> I'm, I'm, level yeah, of thought I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really into it. So the only one left is the Americano, but I can't remember. We always have coffee here, but mm -hmm. I can't remember if you've ever come in with an Americano. Yeah, I think the Harry Potter thing is a lie, and I'll tell you why. Oh, because. Because 
May is doing a reptile challenge right now, or like you were on your Instagram. So I want to say that you are into reptiles. <laughs> so I want to say the first thing is true. Um, and then the third thing, I don't know, um, May works as a barista the other half of the time that she's not here at Yoseka. And I did see you come in this morning drinking some iced beverage. So I'm going to say that one's true. That's true, true way you do come in with iced coffee. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to say the second one is a lie because also it's very detailed and people give too much detail when they lie. So that's that's me that's putting on true. my detective hat. Okay, mm. what's your answer? Um. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wait. I already said the Americana thing. So Americana. And now thing. now you're talking about the Harry Potter. And now that I think about it, you've never mentioned Harry Potter once. So maybe that one's not true. Um, but you think? Okay. I'm gonna go with the Americano solely based off of one conversation we had like the first time we met and you were like, I don't even remember what you said, but it was something But you don't think it was Americano? Coffee uh -huh. tasting and I feel like, yes. That made no sense whatsoever, but based off of a previous okay. conversation, we're going okay, with the Americano. Okay, tell us, tell us, tell us. <laughs> The lie is actually the first one. Oh <laughs> my god! It's a lie because I've kept two beta fish before, but uh -huh. never a snake. Uh -huh. But I do want to keep a snake. Uh -huh. so you're half right. oh <laughs> I am into reptiles. Oh my god. You got us. <laughs> okay, alright. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, May, thank for sharing you. us a little bit about you. And I think I, I think we all know you a little bit better yeah. now. Yeah. I feel like we should all do this as part yeah. of like, our yeah. introduction. <laughs> this is great. Okay, well, thank you so much, May. We'll yeah. see you Bye. next time. She'll be sure to come back. Bye, May. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so that was fun. I feel like it's been so long since we've had like a guest. Guest, yeah, like, like a mystery new, person. Yeah, yeah. Who is this? Yeah, yeah, so that was a lot of fun. Um, so this week has been very, very full, as we said. And last but not least, we like to talk about our customer friend of the week here on Catching Up with Yoseka. And this week, we actually um, just saw this person yesterday. Yes. Um, he came to the shop after a little while of not seeing him, and his name is DJ. DJ. Hi, DJ. You Hi. are our customer friend of the week because you always come and you're always really, really happy to see us, and we are more than thrilled to see you. You brought a friend yes. and um, you actually go way back. DJ goes way back to us. He used to go to our workshops all the time back at Yoseka mm. when we used to do drawing night at Yoseka. He would come every single week and he would encourage our drinking habits by bringing us, drink, bringing us a bottle of wine. Aww, okay. <laughs> yeah, and he came yesterday, did you see? He is a big Kaweco fan, so he came yesterday with a lot of Kawekos to show us. Did you see any of his pens? No, I didn't, but oh, actually yeah. the first time, I think it was the first time at DJ, we had like a really good conversation about the Kaweco. Oh. Like, he was like looking at the art sports, which I feel like, you know, you're, you're a Kaweco fan if you're like into those mm -hmm. types of like special Kaweco lines. Um, and so he like, gave me a little, like, not a history lesson, but like, you know, I was still newer back then, mm -hmm. so I was still learning things, and he was telling me like different facts, and like <laughs> how he likes his pens and whatnot, so it was a, it was a good conversation. Yes. Uh, DJ is one of these people, he is really passionate about fountain pens, and um, you know, I enjoy talking to customers in the store because he is one of those people who like when you talk to him about fountain pens or just stationery, um, he makes me think about things in like a slightly different way. So you're right, last time he was talking with us about art sports and he was talking about how one of them, and he was using that word, remember that word? He was, using, yeah, he was saying remember. that one of them is like chatoyant. Do you, you don't remember this? Okay, what? I don't know. <laughs> One of the art sports has a quality that's like cat's eyes, and he was using the word chatoyant, and he oh, taught me something. Yes, that's um, right. yeah, yeah, and it made me look at the art sports differently because they are, I was like, oh, a cat's eyes. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And it was, mm -hmm. yes, it does. It does, it does. <laughs> so I really enjoy having conversations with people like that for like make, opening my eyes to different ways of looking at stationery. Mm -hmm. um, so thank you, DJ, for coming by. It was great to see you as always and hope to see you a lot more, um, you know, as the weather gets nicer. Gets and, warmer. Yeah. All right. So that's our customer friend of the week. Thank you so much for everyone who wrote in answers this week with your favorite MD um, items. We love, love, love reading them. It turns yeah. out a lot of people's favorite things are the MD, are the notebooks, MD notebooks, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah which is no surprise there. Um, we all love MD notebooks. Um, so keep, keep those answers coming. We love reading them um, and we look forward to seeing more. Thank you so much. Yeah. Bye everyone. Bye.